Good morning students, I am Gaurav Gupta as your mathematics teacher. Today we will take some another typical problem of matrix chapter 3 from elements. I hope you listen to me carefully. So don't waste your time. Let's go to our first problem. First problem is your if a matrix A has an element 3, 1, minus 1 and 2. Show that it means we have to prove A square minus 5A plus 7I is equal to 0. Then use this result to find A4. It means this question put two types of questions. First we have to prove. Then to use that result we have to find the values of A4. Now how we do that? Firstly our step is we have to prove this result. So start to prove this. A square minus 5 into A plus 7 into I is equal to 0. We have to prove this. Now A square means A into A minus 5. 5 into a plus 7 into i is equal to 0 we have to prove. Now take a is 3 1 minus 1 2. 3 1 minus 1 2 minus 5 into a. 3 1 minus 1 2 plus 7 into i 1 0 0 1 multiply this 3 3 is a 9 minus 1 3 1 is a 3 plus 2 minus 3 plus minus 2 minus 1 plus 4 multiply this 15 5 minus 5 10 multiply this 7007 9 minus 1 8 5 minus 5 3 15 5 minus 5 10 plus 7 0 0 7 now we get the result 8 minus 15 plus 7 5 minus 5 plus 0 minus 5 minus minus 5 plus 0 3 minus 10 plus 7 which one is 8 and 7 15 15 minus 15 is 0 5 minus 5 is 0 minus 5 and plus 5 also 0 3 plus 7 is 10 minus 10 which is also 0. It means it is equal to right hand side. We have proved our first part. Please make a note. Now we have to prove or we have already proved this and we have to find the values of A4. How we get this value? We have to use the Proof result a square minus 5a plus 7i is equal to 0. This one is already proved. We already proved this result and we have separate to take highest power of a on left side and remaining terms to take on the right hand side. Is equal to 5a plus minus 7i. Now we have to find a4 and we know if we multiply a square by a we get a3 and if we again multiply with a we get a4. So this one is the simplest way to find out the values of a4. So we use this step. Multiply by a on both side a multiply a square is equal to a multiply 5 a minus 7 into 
5 which one is a into 5 means 5 into a square because 5 is a scalar number and we can take it on left hand side or right hand side or any where because it doesn't affect the matrix again i repeat scalar number not affect the matrix it can be take to left hand side and right hand side whatever you want clear to a into a square is a cube this one is 5 into a 5 a square minus 7 into a into i again any matrix multiply with identity matrix gives the same matrix it means if we multiply identity matrix with any matrix that multiplication gives us the same matrix it means there doesn't affect the multiplication of identity matrix with any matrix so a into i is also a please make up no now 5 again we get the a square and we already know the values of a square this one is your value of a square now substitute the values of a square into this equation a square is 5 into a minus 7 into i minus 7 a into i is i now multiply this 5 is 25 a minus 35 i minus 7 i now sorry 7 a into i is a so this one is 7 a 25 minus 7 we get 18 a minus 35 i now take another multiplication again multiply by a a into a cube a multiply 18 a minus 35 i 18 multiply by a which will gives us 18 a square now multiply 35 into a into i it gives 18 now again we get the a square now same process substitute the values of a square 5a minus 7 into i and again 35 a into i is a now multiply this 18 pi's of 90a minus 18 7 Seven eight of fifty six five seven of the seven of five twelve minus the thirty five a ninety minus thirty five which is equal to fifty five a minus one twenty six i now solve this fifty five into a and a has elements three minus one one Two plus wait minus one twenty six i one zero zero one. Now multiply this fifty five into three one sixty five fifty five minus fifty five and one hundred ten minus multiply one twenty six zero zero one twenty six. Now subtract this one. Fifteen minus six is nine. 15 minus 12 is 3. This one is your 55 minus 55 and 110 minus minus k 60. This one is your final answer. Please make a note. Now we take our next problem. If a matrix has these elements and f of x function of x is x square minus 2x minus 3 and we have to prove that f of a function of a is equal to 0 the main question arises we have given a function in terms of variable x but we have to find a then how we will get there is no 
confusion in mind because it's a function of x and we can easily change the function of it in another variable by replacing that variable so we have to find f of a so replace the variable of x or you can say that substitute x is equal to a and we get the function of a Now do in the same manner. 1, 2, 2, 1. Because it is a square, so we multiply with a into a. 1, 2, 2, 1. Minus 2 into a. 1, 2, 2, 1. Minus 3. If you get any number and you have no matrix, it means the number is multiplied with the identity matrix because identity matrix is also a unit matrix and it doesn't affect the matrix with multiplied with any matrix so if, we, if you find any number it means it has a multiplication with identity matrix it means it, it will indicate 3 into i One zero zero one. Now multiply this and get the result. One plus four, two plus two, two multiply one two, one multiply by two, two two is a four, one one is a one. Minus multiply this two four four two. Again multiply three zero zero three. We get 5, 4, 4, 5 minus 2, 4, 4, 2 minus 3, 0, 0, 3. 5 minus 2 minus 3. 4 minus 4 minus 0. 4 minus 4 minus 0. 5 minus 2 minus 3 we get 0 0 0 0 which is equal to the right hand side this is not your simplest quotient but the confusion is the function of x and we have to find the function of a so please make a note so let's we take our next problem which say if a matrix A has an element lambda 0, 1, 1, it means there is some variable which has, uh, we don't know the values of variable. And this variable is lambda. This one symbol is called lambda. And another matrix B, 1, 0, 5, and 1. The question asks, show that no values. It means we have to prove that no values of lambda can be made a square and b equal it means we have to prove that no values of lambda can be made a square is equal to b square we have to prove this so it's say we have to prove a square is equal to b then what are the necessary conditions for the lambda for to prove the a square is equal to b a square is equal to b if a square is equal to b then what will be the values of lambda a square means a into a is equal to b now substitute the values of a lambda 0 1 1 again lambda 0 1 1 is equal to b 1 0 5 1 now multiply this lambda square plus 0 into 1 0 0 plus 0 into 1 0 1 into lambda lambda 1 into 1 1 1 into 0 0 1 into 1 1 square to 1 0 5 1
लैमडा स्क्वेयर जीरो लैमडा प्लस वन वन इज इक्वल टू वन जीरो फाइव वन इफ दिस मैट्रिक्स इज इक्वल टू दिस मैट्रिक्स इट मीन्स इट हैज ऑल एलिमेंट्स कोरोस्पॉन्डिंग टू बोथ द मैट्रिक्स मस्ट बी इक्वल सो वी हैव टू यूज दिस कंडीशन एंड टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यूज ऑफ लैमडा एंड फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इज इक्वल टू फर्स्ट इट मीन्स lambda square is equal to 1 if lambda square is equal to 1 then what will be the value of lambda is plus minus 1 it means we get two values either 1 or or now take another lambda plus 1 lambda plus 1 is equal to 5 because this element corresponding to this elements here we get 4 now we have three values of lambda is it possible in any matrix there will be three values of lambda that is not possible because lambda has only single value that satisfy the condition but we get here three values so answer is no values of lambda can satisfy the conditions to make a square is equal to p please make a note so please note so no values of lambda can make a square is equal to b because we have got three values lambda is 1 minus 1 and 4 which is not possible so we now take up next problem which say if function of x if any matrix f of x has this elements and we have to show that function of x plus y is equal to function of x multiply function of y take as we have did in second question same to uh, same apply the logic and to solve this result left hand side is function of x plus y and we know this is function of x now we have to find the function of x plus y so substitute x to the x plus y and we get the desired result so here cos x is substituted by x plus y so we get x plus y negative sign x plus y zero sign x plus y cos x plus y 0 0 0 one this is your left hand side and now we apply the same logic at the right hand side f of x we already know f of x is this matrix cos of x minus sin of x 0 sin of x cos of x 0 0 0 1 now multiply it with function of y it means we have to substitute x as y now we place x to the y this will becomes cos y minus sin y 0 sin y cos y 0 0 0 1 and multiply this first one is cos of x into cos of y plus minus sin of x into sin of y 0 into 0 plus 0 now again multiply cos of x into minus sin y means Minus sin y, cos y, minus sin x into cos y, minus sin x into cos y. Now zero multiply with zero, we get zero. Now multiply cos x into zero, zero, sin x into zero, zero, zero into one, zero. Apply same. Sin x into cos y. cos x into sin y 
एंड जीरो इंटू जीरो जीरो साइन एक्स इंटू माइनस साइन वाई कोस एक्स इंटू कोस वाई जीरो इंटू जीरो जीरो नाउ साइन एक्स इंटू जीरो जीरो कोस एक्स इंटू जीरो 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 इंटू वन जीरो जीरो इंटू जीरो जीरो इंटू साइन वाई जीरो वन इंटू जीरो 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 इंटू साइन वाई जीरो जीरो इंटू कोस वाई जीरो वन इंटू जीरो 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 इंटू जीरो 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 इंटू जीरो जीरो वन इंटू वन वन प्लीज मेक अ नॉट नाउ नेक्स्ट सोल्व now we are solving this into the here cos x cos y plus minus minus sin x into sin y minus sin y into cos y and here also minus so we take negative common what we will get sin y cos y plus sin x into cos y here we get 0 sin x into cos y plus cos x into sin y minus sin x into sin y plus cos x into cos y 0 now this one is 0 0 and this one is 1 now first check this element cos x into minus sin y we write here wrong here is cos x now we know the two important result sin a plus b and cos a plus b now apply this we know sin a plus b is equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b and if we get a negative then we will get the values of negative similarly cos a plus b cos a cos b and if we, here is positive when we get negative value sin a into sin b if we if we get here negative then what we will get here, here positive so apply this result what we will get cos a cos b minus sin a sin b cos a cos b sin a sin b and sin here is negative then we will get the values of positive so it means this indicate cos of x plus y now second one is sin cos cos sin it means sin cos cos sin we will get the values of sin a plus b here sin is positive so we get the values of positive please make a note now this one is your 0 0 now again sin cos cos sin sin cos cos sin cos cos sin and here is sin positive then this will be sin x plus y again now this term is change interchange cos cos minus sin sin means cos cos minus sin sin it means we get the values of cos a plus b zero 
जीरो जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन We can easily see that f of x into f of y is equal to f of x plus y. Both the equations are same. Please make a note. Now we go to our next question. It says let alpha be a non-zero real or complex number using principle of mathematical induction, which we already read in eleventh class. of chapter 4 pmi principle of mathematical induction we take all these steps to prove this here is this matrix and we have a and is this matrix it means we have a statement p of n is a n is equal to a n n into a ki power n minus 1 0 a n in principle of mathematical induction we take three steps firstly we substitute n is equal to 1 and we uh, have to prove that is it proved or not if it is proved then we take another step then which is put n is equal to k and this one is your assumed truth if it is truth then there will be another i and this is k plus 1 This statement will also be true for that. Again, I repeat three steps of the principle of mathematical induction. First step is we, you have to take a value n is equal to one, and if we substitute that value and the statement is true, then we take an another arbitrary value. Suppose that n is equal to k. If it is assumed, then there must be an another integer which is K plus one, it also holds the same truth for this relation. So now we apply one by one these steps. Let n is equal to one. Then statement one. We have to put n is equal to one. A one one into A one minus one zero. A one. It means we get a one minus one zero, and any variable has power zero, which is equal to one. Zero, and this is a, and this is same as a. It means a is equal to a. Its statement is true. Clear? We have put n is equal to one and check the condition. Either left hand side or right hand side are equal or not. Here, left hand side is equal to right hand side. It means this statement can be proved. Now, second step. Assume truth. Let n is equal to k. This statement holds. We have put n is equal to k. A whole power k, k into a whole power k minus one, zero, a whole power k. This one is your first equation. Step three. It also be true. n is equal to k plus one. Now substitute n is equal to k plus one. A whole power k plus one and k plus one into a whole power k plus one minus one zero a k plus one. If we further solve, what we will get? A whole power k plus one, k plus one, a once eliminate one, which we get only k zero. And this one is a k plus one. It means we have to prove 
we have to prove this statement. Either this statement is equal. Now main question is we have to prove this. So please make a note. We have to prove a the whole power k plus 1 is equal to this. So we take left hand side and this is our right hand side. So our left hand side is a the whole power k plus 1 which can be written as a the whole power k into a and we already know a the whole power k is equal to this from equation 1 substitute this values a the whole power k k into a whole power minus 1 0 a whole power k and what will be the values of k a n into n minus sorry sorry just just a minute the value of a is a 1 0 a we already know in our first step now substitute this value a 1 0 a now multiply this a into a base same power will be add now multiply this k into a whole power k minus 1 now multiply 0 it with a 0 and a multiply with 0 now multiply this 0 into 1 again 0 and a power k multiply with a base same power will be a Just a minute. Ah, sorry for interruption. Again, multiply this. If we multiply a the power k into a with what we will get? A the whole power is k plus 1 because the base are same power will be a. Now multiply this k into a whole power k minus 1 into 0. What we will get? 0. Now multiply a power k into a which is a. Now multiply this into a, k into a the whole power k minus 1 into a. Now multiply 0 into a, 0, k into 0. Now multiply 0 with 1, what we will get? Uh, 0 plus, if we multiply a the whole power k with a. Now solve these equations. a the whole power k plus 1 it can be written as a the power whole power k into k into a the whole power k into a whole power minus 1 into a this one is 0 this one is your a base same power will be a k plus 1 a the whole power k plus 1 now common out now common out a the whole power k what we will get 1 plus k and this one is will be cancelled out because a the whole power minus 1 is equal to 1 by a 1 by a into a cancel out each other. Now this one is your 0 and this one is your a the whole power k plus 1. And we will get the same result. It means this one is equal to your right hand side. Hence prove. Again I repeat that in third step we have to prove this a the whole power k plus 1 is equal to this. So we take our left hand side which is equal to a the whole power k plus 1 which can be written as a to the power k into a. We separate base. Now substitute the values of a the whole power k. 
this we have substitute this values and we know about the a a we done in our step 1 a 1 0 a a 1 0 a now multiply this a whole power k into a and this multiply with 0 we get 0 so multiply in this manner we get this values now a the whole power k plus 1 and now we take common how we take common we separate base a the whole power k and a the whole power negative 1 to take a common a the whole power k common what we will get 1 plus k and this result is equal to this result so we have proved left hand side is equal to right hand side please make a note now we are taking another example which is based on PMI so in this question what this ask A is equal to this matrix can use prove that PMI PMI stands for principle of mathematical induction A the whole power N which is equal to this matrix so we have to apply PMI and we have to prove this so take all the three steps our step 1 put n is equal to 1 our statement is this p of 1 is equal to a power 1 cos of 1 into theta iota sin into 1 into theta iota sin 1 into theta cos of 1 into theta which is equal to cos theta iota sin theta iota sin theta and cos theta and this will be equal to your a i hope this was clear to you now take another step second step put n is equal to k assume truth now substitute n is equal to k now statement becomes p of k is equal to a the whole power k is equal to cos k theta iota sin k theta iota sin k theta cos k theta take third step put n is equal to k plus 1 we have to prove now substitute x is equal to theta is equal to k plus 1 what we will get a whole power k plus 1 is equal to cos k plus 1 into theta iota sin k plus 1 into theta iota sin k plus 1 into theta cos of k plus 1 into theta this is our right hand side it means we have to prove this a power k plus 1 is equal to this so we take our left hand side and we have to prove it as according to our right hand side so left hand side is a k plus 1 we can write it as a the whole power k into a now we have no about the values of a the whole power k which is equal to this this one is your first equation now subtract to a the whole power k matrix into here cos of k theta iota sin k theta iota sin k theta cos k theta into a into a this cos theta iota sin theta iota sin theta and cos theta now multiply this 
cos k theta into cos theta cos k theta into cos theta plus iota into iota square sin k theta sin theta sin k theta into sin theta now same multiply cos k theta into iota iota cos k theta into sin theta plus iota sin k theta into cos theta now sin iota sin k theta into cos theta plus iota cos k theta into sin theta now iota iota square iota square sin k theta into sin theta plus me cos theta into cos k theta and we know iota square is equal to negative 1 so substitute iota square as equal to negative 1 what we will get please make a note first now cos k theta as it is into cos theta iota square is equal to negative 1 minus sin k theta into sin theta same here we will take common as a iota then cos k theta into sin theta plus sin k theta into cos theta same here common out iota sin k theta into cos theta plus cos k theta into sin theta iota square is equal to negative 1 negative sin k theta into sin theta plus cos theta into cos k theta now it will come the same form sin a plus b and sin a minus b and cos a plus b and cos a minus b here cos cos sin sin and there is negative sign it means we get cos a plus b here also here cos sin sin cos it means it is it will be in the form of sin a plus b or sin a minus b but here is sin positive then this will becomes sin a plus b similarly this sin cos cos sin sin a plus b cos cos minus sin sin it means cos a plus b now take theta as a common cos k plus 1 into theta iota sin k plus 1 into theta iota sin k plus 1 into theta cos k plus 1 into theta this one is your left hand side and this one is your right hand side so please make a look left hand side is equal to right hand side it means we have proved please make a note and meet with me on next video okay thank you to everyone students to watch this video